Hey, can you tell me how close it is to the river? Okay. Right, everyone good morning and welcome to this episode of skitty fishing i don't know if i've ever started an intro with that ever before but whatever we're rolling with it uh but behind me here is the east fork of the wind river so i'm in some serious uh wind river country in wyoming and i'm here to complete uh the wyoming cut slam with my fourth and final fish the yellowstone cutthroat so if you're watching this and you would like to see the previous episodes, you can see it in the uh, upper right hand corner of your screen uh, for the playlist and you can go back and watch the previous episodes if you'd like. But super, super excited about this one, guys. I'm hoping I can complete it today uh, before we camp. Uh, we'll be fishing here again tomorrow, like I said. But uh, with that being said, let's see what we can catch. All right. Wind River. Let's do this. super sneaky up here. This is my type of waters. Loving this. Got one. Fish on. Yep. Please be a cutthroat. Please be a cutthroat. I think it's a cutthroat. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. <laughs> Slam's complete. Slam's, co Slam's complete. I saw one rise up right here. I bet you there's more up ahead. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, what was that? He, he, well, once, once splashed the surface right underneath the shrub. And I, I think there's a couple that are hunkered up underneath right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where? No, that's somebody else's. Yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. The cutthroat slam is complete. Oh my gosh. Beautiful native. That was, that was fourth cast, I think. Let's see how long he is. 10 inch trout. There he goes. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I knew it. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yep, that's my kind of water. Guys, I'm at a loss for words right now. I am literally done with the Wyoming Cut Slam. Forecast into this place and uh, got my native Yellowstone. So. At this point, pressure's off. We're just going to have some fun with it. Watch out for some grizzly bears and uh, let's just keep grinding. Yeah. I haven't seen anything rise yet. I saw one jump up. I don't know if it was the one I caught though. Is 
So yeah, dry flies might be ticket. Oh, I see one right here, Scott. Do you want it? If you come up the creek from where I'm at, there's one here. He moved pretty aggressively. I don't think he was too worried about it. The, the tricky part is that twig that's like touching the water. Yep. Another 10 incher maybe. I can just not hook that twig up there. You got it. Got it. No. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that wasn't the first one. They're picky though. I'm almost curious if somebody's ahead of us. Got one. Nice. Uh, purple bead. I got him right at the beginning of the run. Right, we're gonna net this one because it's been a while. Yeah, just a little guy. Oh, yeah. Don't you pop off on me. What was that? Wow, very tapered uh, spots. And it's already out of the fly. Yeah, dude, let's uh... They're definitely wild up here. All right, I keep getting these moments where I'm thinking my my uh, camera's off, so I... All right, my hands are wet. Wow, gorgeous specimen. Yeah, he's definitely blind. He just swam all the way around my foot. Go. It's getting better and better, guys. It's kind of confusing because uh, I was like, oh, okay, this fly is working. All of a sudden, this fly or this fish has a completely whited out eye. So I don't know if it was just lucky because he was blind or, or if that really was the right fly. Uh, you should take this. You're yet to catch a fish. Look at, look at that undercut right there. Let me cast up in the... No, you're okay. I, I think this is you all the way. Yes, it is. Kind of thinking because of that, I should maybe swap to my smaller rod. Guys, good job, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> there you go. That was cool tape. Hell yeah, bro. Yep, I'm going straight for it. Yeah, I think you should definitely go back to that pheasant tail. Good job, man. 
It's awesome. Biggest one of the day. Let's see if I could score one right here. Oh, I spooked one. Little one. He wasn't even, he was in the very fast water. It's the best density I've seen so far in a while. Got him. Oh, he's swimming down on me. Okay, he's going up, he's going up. That's where I want him, I don't want him to go down. Oh, he's he might be wrapped. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm trying. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm backing up. <laughs> Holy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, dude. Got him. Sheesh. That's a nice one. That was the pheasant tail. I went back to it. Yeah, dude. Nice. That's my turn and catch right there. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. That was definitely not the one I spooked. Because it's a little bit lighter. That's true. Alright, GoPro battery died. Hands are wet. Oh, trying to release a fish. Alright, guys. Native Yellowstone cutthroat. That was a quality fish. Hell yeah. We're here in the grizzly bear country. Oh my gosh, they're such good fighters, man. I can't recall a cutthroat that's fought this nice. <laughs> I'm gonna swing him over to you. Three, two, one. Nope, maybe not. Smart bugger. Oh, dang. That's another good one. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Holy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Beautiful. Barbless. Yep. Oh, man. Beautiful fish. And there he goes. Right back into his home. What was that? I know. It's funny how you can go through the ringer on flies only to go back to exactly what you started with and it works. Oh yeah. Perfect. Got him. Yeah. I saw him come up for it. <laughs> That's a good. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Get manhandled by trout here. I'm trying. He's wrapped around something now. Smart bugger. Is he? Yep. Oh, he's off. That's all right. That was a fun one. Well, appreciate the effort anyway. Oh, he took he took the fly and everything. All right, guys. What can I say other than hell freaking yeah? We are done with the Wyoming Cut Slam and I just finished the Utah Cutthroat Slam like 
a week ago. That was actually like my fourth slam, but uh, uh, it's only really worth doing the Wyoming one once because you can only get one challenge coin and they're not changing them like Utah is. And I'm grateful for that, honestly, I really am. Um, you know, I don't wanna have to just feel like I need to keep repeating these things and kind of save and, you know, give everybody an equal chance to fish. So I hope that Utah's is done um, after the last coin. But man, right off the bat, guys, four casts, got my first cutthroat, I was done. All of the pressure was off. Um, it was pretty grindy. I mean, it wasn't awful, but I mean, I definitely had to work for them. And it's pretty clear that these fish are very, very wild. So, but I mean, what can I say other than you, you study maps for such a long time. It's been, I mean, literally guys, over a half a year, I started studying the, uh, the, the areas uh, for the Wyoming Cut Slam as early as January, but I did not choose uh, the Wind River region until maybe a month and a half, two months ago. And my goal was actually to complete 50% of the slam. And I've actually, uh, I've 100% I've done it. So it was kind of an impromptu change, but I'm happy I stuck with it. Um, and it was fun, guys. It was honestly just, I don't know if it's just because it's so foreign territory to me, but I may have had more fun on the Wyoming slam than I did on the Utah. But to, to study maps and then wake up at like, you know, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning, got to my uncle's at 4.30, and then it was just a five and a half, six hour drive from there. And uh, to, to be standing in a place that you've been studying, catching fish, oh man, it, that's what it's all about, guys. It came together, we delivered. We're not even done yet, honestly. We're gonna go hit a different fork, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna include footage in that or what's going on. Um, but we're actually gonna be hitting a different river here uh, in about maybe 30 hours. And uh, it's gonna be a Snake River Fine Spotted Cutthroat, which isn't really for the, the slam, but it's for my Western Native Trout Challenge video. So uh, stay tuned for a couple weeks for that. Hopefully, if we can get some fish, we'll make a video with that. And uh, appreciate the heck out of you guys. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions about the Wyoming Cut Slam, if it's something that you've wanted to do. If you have any questions, you know, I, I respectfully don't wanna hotspot a bunch of regions, but um, but I'm happy to put people on fish. So just reach out to me and I'll, uh, I'll point you guys in the right direction. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. So uh, it's all Western Native Trout Challenge from here. And uh, we're riding out 2024 with a serious bang, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Tie lines.